Next, NASA says its Voyager 1 probe, the most distant human-made object in the universe, is sending usable information to Earth again after months of spouting gibberish. We meet the NASA scientists who repaired a spacecraft from 15 billion miles away. The Voyager 1 is known for being the first spacecraft to go beyond our solar system, so when it stopped sending data back to Earth last November... What mysteries await beyond the edge? And how might they transform our perception of the universe? Get ready for a journey that will challenge everything we know about the limits of space. NASA's VOID mission has captured the imagination of scientists and space enthusiasts alike, offering a glimpse into the farthest corners of our solar system and beyond. As it ventures through interstellar space, Voyager has delivered groundbreaking discoveries and data that have left even NASA scientists in awe. From uncovering unexpected plasma waves to providing fresh insights into cosmic radiation, the Voyager probes have far surpassed all expectations, continuing their mission more than 40 years after their launch. Launched in 1977, the Voyager mission consists of two twin spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, designed to explore the outer planets of our solar system and eventually enter interstellar space. Originally intended to perform a grand tour of the outer planets, both probes exceeded their initial goals by journeying past their intended paths and continuing on an interstellar trajectory. Voyager 1 holds the title of the farthest human-made object from Earth, while Voyager 2 followed a distinctive path that enabled it to visit both Uranus and Neptune. Each probe carries a golden record, 12-inch gold-plated phonograph discs featuring sounds and images that capture the essence of life on Earth along with greetings in 55 different languages. These records act as time capsules, preserving a snapshot of our world for any intelligent civilizations that might one day discover them. In 2012, Voyager 1 made history by becoming the first spacecraft to enter interstellar space, with Voyager 2 following suit in 2018. Both probes detected unexpected changes in plasma density at the heliopause boundary, showing that this area was far more dynamic than anticipated. Since entering interstellar space, Voyager 1 has encountered plasma waves, mysterious ripples in interstellar plasma caused by solar outbursts. These waves reveal the density of the interstellar medium, helping scientists understand its composition. Another significant discovery was an unexpected, unexplained pressure at the edge of the solar system. This phenomenon could result from an interaction between galactic cosmic rays, interstellar plasma, and magnetic fields, but the exact cause remains unknown. This pressure indicates that the environment at the outer edge of the solar system is more intricate and turbulent than previously thought. Both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have now entered interstellar space beyond the heliosphere, where solar wind particles no longer prevail. This boundary, called the heliopause, marks the point where the solar wind's influence diminishes, allowing interstellar particles and cosmic rays to rise considerably. Voyager 1 is now more than 14 billion miles from Earth, with Voyager 2 trailing at around 12 billion miles. Despite their vast distance, both probes continue to send data back to Earth, although transmissions can take more than 21 hours one way. The discovery of the heliopause boundary itself was groundbreaking. Voyager's crossing provided the first direct measurements of interstellar space, allowing scientists to better understand the differences between the interstellar medium and the solar bubble surrounding the Sun. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have uncovered several bizarre and groundbreaking phenomena throughout their journey each providing a glimpse into the unknown, from the outer planets to interstellar space. Here are some of the most extraordinary discoveries Voyager has made to date. One of the most surprising discoveries came when Voyager 1 crossed the boundary of the heliosphere in 2012, followed by Voyager 2 in 2018. This boundary, known as the heliopause, marks the transition from the region dominated by solar wind to the interstellar medium. Scientists were surprised by the complex and dynamic nature of this region. Voyager detected pressure at the boundary, indicating the presence of an unknown force. This pressure might result from cosmic rays, interactions with magnetic fields, or even a dense hydrogen wall at the solar system's edge. As Voyager crossed into interstellar space, it revealed that this boundary isn't a fixed barrier, 
but a dynamic, shifting region that expands and contracts with solar activity. After Voyager 1 entered interstellar space, it picked up unexpected plasma waves, low-frequency oscillations caused by interactions between cosmic rays and interstellar plasma. These waves produce eerie sounds when converted to audio, providing scientists with valuable insights into the density of interstellar space. Voyager's measurements showed that the plasma density in interstellar space is higher than expected, offering clues about the structure and composition of the galactic environment. Scientists expected Voyager to detect a magnetic field in interstellar space aligned with the galaxy's magnetic field. Instead, Voyager 1 discovered that the magnetic field in the interstellar medium was slightly tilted and still influenced by the Sun's magnetic field. This unexpected tilt suggests a complex interaction between the heliosphere and the interstellar environment, hinting that our solar system might be squashed rather than a perfectly spherical bubble. As Voyager neared the heliopause, it identified a cosmic ray-bound layer containing a unique blend of solar and galactic cosmic rays. In this area, Voyager observed a sharp decrease in solar particles alongside a surge in high-energy particles from interstellar space, signaling the interaction of solar and galactic forces. This previously uncharted cosmic ray layer revealed that the Sun's protective influence doesn't abruptly cease but rather fades gradually, forming a chaotic boundary where particles mix in intricate ways. When Voyager 2 passed by Saturn in 1981, it discovered active geysers on the icy moon Enceladus. These geysers spew water and organic molecules into space, hinting at the possibility of a subsurface ocean beneath Enceladus's icy crust. This finding has profound implications for astrobiology as it suggests that Enceladus might be capable of supporting microbial life. Additionally, Voyager provided close-up views of Saturn's rings, revealing braided and twisted patterns caused by gravitational interactions with Saturn's moons. Voyager 2, the only probe to have visited Uranus and Neptune, revealed some of the most bizarre weather patterns in the solar system. One hypothesis, based on Voyager's data, is that methane deep within the atmospheres of Uranus and Neptune could undergo extreme pressure and temperature conditions breaking down and forming diamonds that rain through the interior of these icy giants. The phenomenon of diamond rain, though still speculative, is one of the leading theories explaining the unusual atmospheric behavior observed by Voyager. When Voyager 2 passed by Neptune in 1989, it discovered a massive storm system known as the Great Dark Spot, similar to Jupiter's Great Red Spot. This storm, Nearly as large as Earth, featured winds exceeding 1,500 miles per hour, some of the strongest recorded in the solar system. However, the storm was transient and disappeared when Hubble observed Neptune later, indicating that the planet's atmosphere experiences rapid and extreme weather changes. During its flyby of Jupiter, Voyager also detected intense auroras on the gas giant, caused by the interaction between Jupiter's magnetic field and particles from its moon, Io. Additionally, Voyager captured volcanic eruptions on Io, marking the first direct observation of active volcanoes on another world. Io's volcanic activity is driven by extreme tidal forces from Jupiter, which generate frictional heat within the Moon. This finding redefined our understanding of geological activity in the solar system, revealing that moons could be more volcanically active than previously thought. Than planets in 1990, Voyager 1 took its iconic pale blue dot image, capturing Earth as a tiny speck in the vastness of space from 3.7 billion miles away. This image, taken at the request of Carl Sagan, highlighted the fragility and smallness of our planet, evoking a profound sense of humility and perspective on our place in the universe. One of Voyager 1's more recent discoveries has been the detection of a hum in interstellar space. This low-frequency hum is a continuous sound caused by the vibrations of plasma waves in interstellar space. Unlike the occasional plasma wave spikes caused by solar flares, this hum is steady and represents the ambient plasma environment far beyond the heliosphere. This faint music of interstellar space has given scientists a new way to measure the density of interstellar material surrounding our solar system. Can Voyager detect extraterrestrial life? Although Voyager was not specifically designed to detect alien life, it sends back valuable data about the environment beyond our solar system, 
such as measurements of cosmic rays, magnetic fields, and plasma waves. These factors could potentially influence extraterrestrial biology if it exists. While the data itself doesn't directly identify alien life, it can help scientists understand the conditions that might support life in other star systems. Voyager's golden record, however, serves as its only direct message to intelligent life forms, containing details about Earth and its inhabitants. If an advanced extraterrestrial civilization were to intercept Voyager, the record would provide them with insights into Earth's culture, location, and history. The Voyager spacecraft are equipped with a range of instruments designed to explore the outer planets and the interstellar medium. Despite their limited power, these instruments continue to provide invaluable data through groundbreaking observations. Key instruments aboard Voyager include the Imaging Science System, ISS, which, although no longer active due to the spacecraft's distance from the Sun, captured stunning images of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and their moons. The plasma spectrometer measures plasma, the hot ionized gas found in space, and played a vital role in studying the solar wind and its interaction with the interstellar medium. The cosmic ray subsystem detects high-energy particles, or cosmic rays, from beyond our solar system, providing essential insights into the galactic radiation environment. The low-energy charged particles measures the presence of ions and electrons, giving insights into the heliosphere the bubble of charged particles surrounding our solar system. The system magnetometer measures magnetic fields in space, particularly those in the vicinity of the outer planets and in the interstellar medium. The ultraviolet spectrometer and photopolarimeter system detect ultraviolet radiation and analyze light polarization, respectively. Due to the decreasing power supply, some instruments have been turned off to conserve energy. However, the remaining active instruments still provide valuable data as Voyager probes the outer reaches of our solar system and beyond. Voyager, JWST, and Hubble each have distinct roles in advancing our understanding of the universe, yet they all contribute to the broader goal of exploring space. Voyager is an interstellar probe that is moving outward, gathering data on the solar system's boundaries and the interstellar medium. In contrast, Hubble orbits Earth, while JWST orbits the Sun at the L2 Lagrange point, with both focusing on deep space observations through high-resolution imaging. Hubble and JWST are advanced telescopes designed to examine distant galaxies, nebulae, and exoplanets in intricate detail. JWST specializes in infrared observations, allowing it to study the early universe, while Hubble captures images in visible and ultraviolet light. Voyager, on the other hand, has a more exploratory and localized mission, focusing on measuring the interstellar environment rather than detailed imaging. While both Hubble and JWST employ cutting-edge imaging and spectroscopy, Voyager's instruments were mainly built for solar system exploration, emphasizing magnetic fields, cosmic rays, and plasma interactions over imaging. Though Hubble and JWST are expected to operate for many years within the vicinity of Earth, Voyager has traveled farther than any other spacecraft, leaving a lasting legacy in solar and interstellar science that will continue well beyond its power supply. Will Voyager last for another decade? Voyager's longevity has been remarkable, but its remaining lifespan is limited due to diminishing power. Both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are powered by radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, which convert heat from decaying plutonium-238 into electricity. Each year, the power output decreases by about 4 watts, leading NASA to turn off non-essential systems and some instruments to conserve energy. Based on this gradual power loss, NASA anticipates that the probes may be able to operate until around 2030, though not at full capacity. By 2030, Voyager power will likely be insufficient to run any of its scientific instruments, meaning the probes will become silent, no longer transmitting data back to Earth. At that point, they'll continue their journey through interstellar space as time capsules, carrying their golden records as messages to any future civilizations that may encounter them. In these remaining years, the Voyagers are still expected to send back valuable data, especially about the interstellar medium, as long as key instruments like the Cosmic Ray Subsystem and Plasma Wave Subsystem, PWS, remain operational. Each piece of data they send back brings us closer to understanding the true nature of interstellar space 
and the conditions beyond the heliosphere. Though they likely won't last another full decade as active instrument of science, Voyager's legacy will endure, and their journey into the cosmos will continue for millennia.